How's it going, YouTube? Hi. So we're back today. We're going to do part two of removing our engine out of our 2013 John Deere Gator. Uh, we got held up and we've been waiting for a week or so now. We needed this part right here to remove the drive clutch. It's really just a pusher. We're going to thread that in and it's going to push the drive clutch off. So um, we'll see how that goes. Stick around. Hope you enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe if you like this content. And guys, please pray for the gator so it's here if we can get it up and running. What do you think? You think we can get it out and then finally get it back together? Um, I'm hoping. I'm not so sure because <laughs> I think we can. I'm not sure sure either, but we'll figure yeah, it out. Y'all because... stick around for the video. That should ran straight nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well, we're gonna put this thing back together. I'm gonna rewatch them videos, try to figure out everything I need. We'll take some bolts with me. Yeah, we're gonna, it's gonna go back together a lot smoother. Figure out how to lock it. Yep. 
breaking anything. Like a strap's long enough, uh, strong enough? Plenty we could strap through. Or block the wood from there to there. Yeah, I like the wood I did, but. I mean, the belt looks pretty good, don't it? Yeah, I put a new one on. Think so? Oh, yeah. I mean, now's the time. Yeah, where that thing's at. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's never been a better time to put a, a belt on it. For sure. that to tighten that and hold up maybe. I have to pick up on that plastic, maybe, if I don't mind. Let me try to let me just get that bolt out, that, the tool out, and then uh, it should maneuver better with us. Once you figure out what tool to use, yeah, it's all it makes it's it, all in a tool for sure. Yeah, it makes it a whole lot simpler. Birds and the dive bombers. Yeah. That's gonna be a video sometime this summer. Put something up so they can't sit here and poop on everything.
there you have it. So now we got to get that housing off. That don't look too terrible. No. Eight bolts. Thought they would have had lock washers on the back of that. seals Guess that one and then that this one right here had to do with a wrench.
Till then, you hold. Treat it like the beach. I need to put that spring somewhere where we do not lose it. That goes for your uh, thing right here. These are those two bolts from last week. They go in the top of that cover somewhere. Got the extra brakes on. Some type of connector. I don't know what it does. You stand there and hang out, you're gonna learn just as much as we do. Hmm. So you're trying to peel that off? We're gonna take this engine out. How would you be able to take it out? Are you gonna have to work together? Mm -hmm. We'll take both of us. You might have to be the cameraman. Okay. That ground wire right there. Well, whenever y'all getting ready to take the engine, y'all come just hang out. It's about to go. Let's uh, make sure we had the battery done, but I mean, we done it last time. Yeah. Zip tie and zip tie them two together. So these two? Yeah. Oh, that way we know they're hot. Keep them separated. Okay. Leave you enough. Got two right there. up here
be it. Where do you think the leak was? Right here. I know we can see it better than we've ever seen it. Right here. Take this front plate off. Yeah. That's gonna fix it. Cause right when it was leaking, it was coming out of that corner right there. Yeah. That's why it's so clean compared to everywhere else. 